Hello there guys and welcome back to another FIFA 18 gameplay video. Today we're going to look at some leaked footage from E3. As you can see here, two guys setting up Real Madrid versus Manchester City. And uh, we'll be going through this, breaking it down, maybe showing you some things you might have missed and explaining a few things as well. So let's jump into the action and see what's going on here. As you can see, uh, making some changes on the bench and um, switching some players around. Uh, you can see the ratings there, Ronaldo is actually a 94 um, on the start of this game. So... He's going to be deadly. Obviously, on the cover, probably going to have an extra rating just because of that, like Messi used to. Uh, but a 94 rated Ronaldo could be uh, could be in the game. Um, and as you can see here, these guys now I'll take a look at this, and it's called quick substitutions. Now, this is something that's pretty uh, pretty new. Um, I didn't spot this first time I watched it through, but after watching it a couple of times, I did notice um, that he, the guy presses R2, and as you can see, the the uh, the players all go. Um, blank, so there's nobody there, and he's on Fernando here, uh, the CDM 70 rated Fernando, and he highlights him, he, I think it's here, look, it says uh, R2 for quick subs, he points it out to his friend, and um, he then chooses uh, Fernando, and then he also chooses um, Colo Torre, and um, then as you can see, now he's done that, um, there's a little bib here with a number one, and then the substitution markers, so what this means is, in game, I think what you're going to have is maybe um, as you can change the tactics, things like that, there's going to be maybe you press the uh, right on the D-pad or something like that, and it's going to be giving you the option to make uh, quick sub one, quick sub two, or quick sub three. Um, as you see, he's set this up for quick sub one. So if he selects quick sub one, next time the ball goes out of play, Fernando will come on to replace Colo Torre. Um, that just makes the game a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, and uh, then this guy is going to set that up to bring on Morata as well, I think. So we'll just keep playing that through, and you'll see that he also selects to do a quick sub. Um, so this is something different, uh, something you might have missed first watch of this uh, this video. And as you see, then he actually now has the uh, the little the the bib on there ready for a quick sub if he needs to do one. Of course, he can do a manual sub if something happens, say an injury or the game's not going quite the way you expected it to. Um, you can still do just the normal manual substitution, but this is just a little quicker way. And if you're bringing on the same kind of players um, in career mode um, or in ultimate team. Um, off the bench every time then there we go and this uh, for people who uh, put the star players like if you've got Ronaldo you start them on the bench and then switch them in when you get into the game I know players do that in all my teams sometimes I guess this is a, just an easier way for you to do that um, as you see this is one of the training drills here hitting into the top corner and uh, both players are playing this um, rather than just one person playing one person watching you can see they're both actually doing it taking it in turns uh, they're on the same team here obviously they're going to be playing against each other in a second so this is the uh, the actual gameplay you can't see too much detail here this is obviously just a, a camera onto a television so it's not too great and um, you're not going to get a good in, in detailed look at the graphics things like that and any you know changes to players faces um, and uh, you can see the gameplay it probably doesn't look too different well uh, let's just highlight something before we go any further though and that was uh, player movement that was supposed to be improved and things like that now this guy's just switching the ball across to uh, to the far side to the left back and um, just keep an eye on the forwards as you uh, might notice something this guy here is maybe making a little bit of movement in field here um, and what would be good to see is if this guy then has a small bit of movement and comes out of his space now I haven't seen this and I don't know if that's gonna happen or what happens here with the movement so let's just play it through and um, actually they both close up the same space. So, um, again, an uh, uh, a more intelligent run there for this guy. We'll be able to get that way, but we're not doing coaching tips here. Um, but, again, they said that they've improved the runs off the ball. Now, this guy seems to be taking a spin in behind. You can see the right back's getting forward here. Um, and then the midfielder might be coming short to create the room out there for the right back if they want to switch it again. So, again, we'll just play through, see what happens. And you see he drives inside, and, and then he plays it out. And um, they spread the ball back into the right back. But again, we, I can't see too much uh, different movement from the forwards. And here, the guy just messes around with it and actually gets tackled in the midfield. And then the breakaway counter attack is on for the other side. Um, I think eventually that might have been offside against Ronaldo. Um, but he goes through and he actually blazes it wide. That should be a chance. Okay, here, um, let's just take that back just a second. Um, this shows up here. Now, that was the bib that we saw um, when. Uh, we did the quick substitutions, but there's no number on here. And there seems to be a countdown timer, maybe, for when the ball goes out of play. If you want to do the quick sub, maybe you press a button here, and that might activate the quick sub. So that might be what that is. I'm not 100% sure. As you can see, it goes down. And the actual R2 button was there. So I think that might be where the uh, the quick sub thing comes in. And this is something that was different as well. You can see that this line here, um, 
has come up on the screen. Now, I don't actually like this. It's gone to this guy, and he's played it out, but I actually don't like that. I don't like things that make it look less like you're watching it on TV and more like it's an actual computer game, and uh, these sort of things just... Uh, just make it a little bit different now he does a few passes here with that same thing now this must be a button and you can pick your passes um like this now another thing that was coming out of uh the release when we first heard about uh, FIFA 18 improvements one of the things was crossing is going to be improved and putting things into the back post or front post and I said maybe it's going to be a marker like you see when you're taking set pieces and this seems to point towards that being that you see there he just put puts the uh pass where he wants it and then just presses a button and then the player passes it across so uh, it looks like that might be um, what that is um, but we'll see as we uh, get more information on FIFA but that, that definitely looks like what that could be and if that is that I'm not a huge fan I'd like to see less uh... okay so again let's take a look at attacking runs this time it's the Real Madrid players coming forward the balls just come in here to this guy and we have three players all over the left shoulder of uh, James. And uh, let's see if the attacking runs are any different to what you see. One guy's going down the middle. And the other two just stop. And then he goes for a long range strike that he, he hits off target. And as you can see again here with the R2 button and the little vest. That's going to be the quick sub if you want to do it. And you have the timer down there. So um, he's now gone high pressure. The other guy, Man City guy, went high pressure there. Let me see if that actually changed anything. Again, he plays it out short. And... Um, switches the play and we only have a few another minute left of this uh this video although there is you know we're, we're only 50 minutes into the game um in in the fifa but again here's sane he puts the ball over the top now the runs don't look too different again from uh, from 17 in my opinion and now you can see this is the high pressure from city one guy pressured high and sane there he's just strolling around now um let me just rewind that a second i'm sorry if uh, if you don't if you don't like uh, me rewinding it. So he's gone high pressure. Now keep an eye on, I think this is Sané. Let's just keep an eye on him. He's gone high pressure and they've lost the ball here now. You can see a few players pressing, but look at Sané just walking backwards, strolling, doesn't close a man down, lets the ball just get played past him and doesn't get involved in the closing down. So the fact that he's gone high pressure and then Sané just isn't doing the high pressure, that kind of annoys me and I'd like to see that fixed by by EA. Now this is something else that I've noticed and that is play the goalkeeping position. Now at the moment he's on the edge of his six yard box which could be an okay position. They're coming through onto the edge of the area now in shooting range and I would say maybe he's a little bit too forward. You think he needs to take a step back but just watch as this progresses. He, uh, he goes back to the edge. A little bit of play on the edge of the area. Now he's in the box and look where the goalkeeper's position still is. He's still way out of his goal. Um, very very close. And then the, uh, the ball eventually breaks to the edge of the box and yet again, look at Cavalero's positioning. It's terrible. If this guy just kills one here from range, you would expect that to the top corner. I don't think Cavalero would get there. So he doesn't actually do it in the end. He goes a little bit closer. Then he gets a shot away that's blocked and Cavalero dives. And then look where Cavalero's position actually was there. He was actually way out of his six-yard box. So uh, goalkeeper positioning, I think, needs to be fixed. I don't like that. Um, whether it's just Cavalero who likes to sit on his six-yard box or whether it's going to be all goalkeepers in uh, FIFA 18. But... That's something else that I recognise is the goalkeeper positioning was, uh, for me, a little bit as they get the ball away, he then goes to his near post. But six yard box seems to be where they're standing. Now, either they've changed the uh, the actual size of the pitch, and I'm seeing it completely different to what I normally see. There's a chance here for the uh, Real Madrid guy. He's going to nick it. Are we going to get a goal here? I haven't seen this far in. We do get a goal, and uh, the net doesn't bulge because uh, it's beta, and he goes over and celebrates, and that's the end of the video. So, um yeah, maybe it's just this is actually bigger than FIFA 17 six-yard box. Now, that sounds weird. Obviously, it's a six-yard box. It's going to be the same size. But if they made the pitch bigger, or this is a different camera angle to what I use, maybe goalkeepers normally stand there. But from from my perspective and my opinion, I think the goalkeeper really should just take a, a step back. Um, but I don't know. The box does look bigger. And again, this might sound weird to you guys because it's clearly not bigger. It's just the box. But... Um, yeah, goalkeeper position and probably uh, should be tweaked. But that's the end of the video here. We only get 28 minutes uh, in game time and uh, it ends with a goal for Real Madrid. So that's the league footage of, uh, of FIFA 18. That's my breakdown. Let me know if there's anything that you guys saw that maybe I missed or let me know your opinion on uh, what I said. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.